Hey guys, it's Sam here and today we're going to be filming this look and I added in some freckles right there so we'll go ahead and just get started. First things first, I have to start off with my coffee. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is, if I want coffee, I am going to get my coffee. So good. Next up, I always try to wash my hands before I touch my face but I was very lazy, so I used a hand sanitizer instead, but you want to make sure you have clean hands before touching your face because you don't want to break out like that. Not good. And next, I just spray my face with some Mario Budescu spray, one of my favorites. And then once that is dry, I use my moisturizer. This is e.l.f. This is so far my favorite moisturizer that I've used and smells really nice. So. I really like it. After that, I'm going to exfoliate my lips. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I cannot stress enough how much I love to exfoliate my lips. I love the way it feels. It's just like a massage. It's If you've never done it, you need to do it because it feels the bomb. Anyways, after that, I just get some tissue from my Batman Kleenex box and I just wipe that off um, just using that and then after that I use lip oil from Milani not one of my favorite products but I'm trying to use it all up so I use it after I exfoliate next for my primer I use the Smashbox photo finish oil primer <clears throat> one of my favorites um, primers that I've used because I do have dry skin so the oil really helps to moisturize uh, my dry ass skin and then next I am going to be mixing two different foundations so this is a Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation this one's a little bit too dark for me so I mix it in with the NYX Total Control Drops I'm not sure what color this one is but I will have it down below but I mix that in um, just to lighten it up a little bit but I'll be honest with you I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this foundation combo just yet not sure but I blend that in to my skin using a Real Techniques sponge I need a new one because mine is dirty and disgusting and that was me singing right there and then I use my uh, what is this my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again not sure what shade it is but I will have it down below as well and then of course I blend that out using my sponge one more time With that all blended in to perfection, I use my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder. It's one of my favorite setting powders. I cannot get over how good it is. It's like no flashback. I can bake a little bit with this and my, I find that it doesn't dry my skin out at all. Um, so that is amazing. I love this powder. If you haven't tried it, then you need to ASAP. And then with that, um, the rest of the powder, I don't add any more to the brush, but I just brush everything all over my face just to kind of set everything down in place so it doesn't move. And then once that is done, I have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I know they recently just came out with new packaging, but this one I got for free. So why spend money when you don't gotta? So that's what I'm using. It's one of my favorite bronzers, actually. It is so good and so pretty. And I put that just in basically all the areas under my chin and whatnot around my forehead I usually don't put makeup on my forehead recently because I have bangs but then I kind of forgot about my bangs so that's why I'm not putting makeup on my forehead but whatever and I do contour my nose just a tad bit using that same bronzer and 
and then I tap it over with that sponge just to kind of diffuse it a little bit more and then using my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray I spritz that all over my face with all those powders on top and go over the sponge just a little bit to kind of melt it all into my skin and then I'm taking the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm using that green shade there and I am putting that all up in my crease. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. I'll be honest with you. I had originally sat down to film a festival look. But then I also wanted to do a green look because I had never done green before. I ended up going with green anyway. and But I had no idea what I was doing. No idea. Like I... I think I started to wing it out because I had originally thought I was going to do like a really dramatic cut crease which I obviously didn't end up doing but that's why I was winging it out a little bit there then I take the um second or the darkest green one of the darkest greens in that palette and I kind of just put it on the same areas and then eventually you'll see here I kind of just say like F it and I just put it all over my lid and then I take that darkest green again just putting that in the same areas darken it up just a little bit and I notice in a lot of this footage I look like I'm not happy but I promise you I was I was just kind of sick when I filmed this and that's why it is a voiceover um but again back to the tutorial I just take those same exact three shades of green colors that we used on the lid and run that under my lash line um but anyways yeah that's why this is a voiceover because I was like coughing in this video so much it was ridiculous And then I take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and I run that along my waterline just to kind of open up my eyes just a little bit. And then I'm taking the Magic by Juvia's Place and look at this green, y'all. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is so pretty. I have no idea why I've never ever used green on my eyelids before. And I'm telling you right now, I'm obsessed with the color green now it is so pretty so I just tap that on my with my finger first and then I do take a brush and I spritz it with my setting spray and then I go over that one more time just to kind of intensify it just a little bit I wanted to use glitter but I don't even have green glitter like how do I not have any green glitter I was so shocked when I couldn't find any Next, I'm doing a winged eyeliner, taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Looking back at it though, I kind of wish I didn't do the green eyeliner. I wasn't sure if I had wanted to in the first place and I ended up doing it and then I kind of regretted it. So if I were to do this look again, I would honestly skip the eyeliner because it doesn't really need it, I think, anyway. So... And then just some mascara. This is the uh, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Then I take the Anastasia Moonchild in the shade Lucky Clover and I put that in my inner corner. And also my brow bone. I'm going to be putting these lashes on. These are from Morphe. I think they're in the style Hot Stuff. But they're one of my favorites. Next, I'm lighting my lips with a Wet n Wild um, lip pencil. Again, I can't remember what shade this is, but I will have everything I used in the description box just in case you're wondering but I line my lips with this and um, I overline as well and I kind of fill it in just a little bit and then I do go over it with another wet n wild lipstick you'll see here in a bit And 
And this is the Wet n Wild lipstick. I don't remember the name again. I know I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm horrible at this. But it will be in the description box. And then I realized I have forgotten blush. So I'm adding blush now to my cheekbones. And I'm using more of a peachier. Or this is one of the peachier blushes that I owned at the moment. And I always kind of just drag that along across my nose as well. And then I take that uh, Lucky Clover shade one more time and I use it to highlight. If you're not into a color for highlight, by all means, use a regular um, or a neutral, a more neutral shade of highlight. I, on the other hand, don't really mind it. So that's why I'm using that one. And now it's a finished look for the first part. Next, I felt a little bit extra and I wanted to match my earrings. So I take these green heart stencils that I got from Amazon and I use this matching nail tool. This is a NYX glitter primer or glitter glue and I use that to stencil on the heart. So I put a little bit on my hand and then I would dip the dotting tool into the glue dotted on the area that I want the heart at. And then using that same dotting tool, I would just use that to pick up the heart and and put it onto uh, the area that I put the glitter glue on. <clears throat> and this works pretty well. And I just tap over it just to make sure that they are nice and pressed on and not going to move anywhere. And this is also the time where I wish I had like thicker green glitter because I did want to add in specks of glitter but I didn't have any so instead I used liquid lipstick. This is the shade Alien from Lime Crime and I'm using that same dot dotting tool and putting green dots all over along with the hearts. And that is it. That is the completed look. I was obsessed with this look. I didn't want to take it off at all. And one, two, three, look at that face. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Who's ruining? My jams.